You wake up early in the morning, go to the kitchen and make a cup of tea for yourself. Do you know when you take a sip of this warm, soothing tea? You are also drinking the DNA of hundreds of insects. This tea research is done by Dr. Henrik Kranwinkel and his team from Trier University of Germany. He studied the four types of teas from the stores. He bought the tea, the chamomile tea, the mint tea, and the parsley tea. In all the cases, the leaves are collected and crushed, keeping the cellular contents intact. The DNA collected from the teas is called the eDNA, or environmental DNA. 99% of the collected eDNA belonged to the tea plants. However, 0.1% of the DNA was the animal DNA, mostly arthropods. Dr. Cranwinkel is an ecological geneticist who studies the plant and animal interactions by using the DNA isolation techniques. Every time a bee lands on flowers or a caterpillar chews on leaves, a ladybug eats aphids, or a spider spins a web. These interactions are hard to record and study by using cameras and binoculars. When an animal visits a plant, a tiny part of its body is left behind in the form of scales, skin fragments, feces, and other bodily secretions. eDNA of these tiny fragments can be analyzed and the species can be identified. Dr. Cranwinkel has identified 1,200 species of arthropods from four types of teas that he has studied. This DNA isolation technique can be used to study insect pests on various crops. It can give us priceless data on how pest populations decline with the different methods of pest control.